Good morning, beloved brethren. How's everybody doing? So this week um, apparently is Earth Week. Gaia worshipers, <laughs> Earth worshipers. To them, I say this. Even the Pope, who is is uh, claiming to be godly or knowing something about the scriptures that never change. The word of God never changes. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So let's see what the word of God says about earth and Gaia. And we did in the past videos, we showed that the whole world is under judgment, is condemned, is damned. <laughs> so let's see what God says is going to happen to this world. Second Peter 3, 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Kind of like the Big Bang, but I don't believe in the Big Bang, but anyways. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, that's those who are born again, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Yes, beloved. So when the Pope is saying, oh, the earth, Gaia is going to spew us out and we've sinned against the earth. Yes, you have sinned against the earth. But more importantly, you've sinned against the first Adam. And uh, praise be to God, he has redeemed and shed his blood for the sins of the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So, you know, the Lord promises us new heavens and new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. And today um, and yesterday, we feel a bit of heat come through the land. Because like I've said, there's a millstone, or actually the scriptures say there's a millstone coming. And we don't know, you know, exactly when it's supposed to come. But according to Steve Fletcher, you know, he says April 29th. I don't want to give it a day. Um, I do know that we're not going to be surprised when it comes. And we can definitely see in the north, when we're looking to the north, we see a very brightness at the, at the horizon after the sun is going down that they try to hide with chemical trails and different things like that. So we know that something's coming. And we know that the heavens will pass away and the earth will pass away. And um, all of the works of man's hands will pass away, according to the scriptures. And in Galatians, but we're going to come back in another in the next video, and we're going to finish up this series on the kingdom of God. What is it? Well, I want to remind you that Jesus said when he came to his apostles, he said, you know, and he also said that he wished the whole world was already on fire. Oh boy, yes, he said that. <laughs> The Lord Jesus Christ said that and that he would slay the wicked our beautiful loving sweet kind Jesus said that so we need to know who he really is he rebuked people he um you know he said call people Satan you know it's viper serpent you know he he said it as it was so we need to know who, who Christ really is and know that he took the whip to the money changers um, he turned over tables. He was not as this meditative type person that people want you to perceive him to be. He also is very loving and kind and he gave his, laid down his life for his brother, for us. But he did say, he did say that, um, the kingdom has come unto you whenever he was talking to his apostles. He was the kingdom come down from heaven. He is the kingdom. The word of God. He is the kingdom. Praise his holy name. He was Emmanuel, God with us, who came from heaven down to this dark place and judged the world. Said the world sits in darkness. And he brought us light. Praise his holy name. And now there's a time of judgment coming for those 
who are already condemned. Not just the wicked, but the unbeliever. You know, he's going to give everyone a chance to change their mind, you know, before the time. And he, he comes to all of us and he gives all of us a measure of faith. And I think my brother Everly Jr., I haven't watched it yet, has a video about the measure of faith everybody gets. You know, resisting the spirit, uh, resisting the truth, and rejecting the Son of the Living God doesn't mean that he's not, it, you know, he gives doesn't give you a chance like he did with Doubting Thomas. Doubting Thomas had to see him before he believed. So did Saul, because he was murdering Christians before he came, became Paul. So, you know, don't doubt the grace of God. His mercy is absolutely amazing. Um, he doesn't give anyone what they deserve. And, uh, but I guarantee that you must be holy to enter into that new kingdom. Um, the new heaven and new earth. It's going to be a holy place where dwells righteousness. And he is the tabernacle, the house of God. So you must be in him by faith. By believing on him um, and he is the kingdom and he walks amongst the lampstands those of us who believe he walks with us even though we struggle we have tribulations in this world he did not say you would not you would be without tribulations he said you will have tribulations um, but he is coming for us so anyways on this earth day we're talking about the kingdom of God we know that his kingdom is everlasting this world is condemned is judged so because the prince of this world is already condemned is already judged according to the scriptures not according to me so we're going to come back in the next one and look over some scriptures about the kingdom of god agape love to you brethren and look up your redemption draweth nigh draweth nigh <laughs>